Hey guys, what's going on? It's Johnny Two Thumbs 17 here bringing you episode three of my Football Manager 2017 Unemployed Challenge. Currently with Eastlay in the Vanarama National League. Since the last episode, we have played a few matches. Uh, we've been on a pretty good run. I know on our last episode, I believe we finished with a loss to Dover. Since then, I've played five matches and we have won three and drawn two. So let's go ahead and take a look at the highlights from the previous matches. Today's episode, we have some pretty tough and interesting matches coming up. Uh, we're going to kick things off with four screen rovers. We're playing away. They currently sit second in the table. After then, we're going away once again to Macclesfield Town, currently in third. Then we're home against Centen United, uh, currently sitting in 11th. That should be a, a winnable game. And then Woking as well. That's going to be another away match, three away matches in the next four. But they're sitting in the 14th. That should be a pretty winnable game for us. So let's go ahead and jump straight into the four screen rovers. I completely forgot before we get into the matches, I did sign on a new player. This is Latif Elford Aliyu. That's how I'm going to say. We're just going to call him Latif because that's easiest. Um, a pretty, pretty solid all around striker. Not fantastic by any means, but just an overall solid player. And he does have a little room to grow here. Uh, so he should develop into a pretty solid striker for us. We were just really, really thin uh, in the forward position. And really outside of Henderson, we don't really have anybody that can come in off the bench currently. So this is a very solid pickup for us. Uh, we gave him a start in a recent match, I believe it was our last match, and he rewarded us with a brace. So looking forward so this guy rotating in and out with Henderson, coming off the bench, giving us a bit of spark. I think he's going to be a very good signing for us. Sky is predicting this to end in a draw, although Forest Green Rovers are the favorites going into this match. Not surprising, we are playing away. And as you can see here at the table, they are tied with us on points. We just have the superior goal differential. So this is going to be a very tough game for us. We're going to go with Henderson up top. Lee Clock, McLeod, and McAvoy are going to be out on the wings. Togwell, Matthews, and Close are our midfield. Uh, woo, uh, Cresswell, Goku, and Odafin are our back line. And Clark is going to be in goal for us today. We're giving McAvoy the start on the right side today. Uh, it's not his normal position, but Constable has really been struggling. So we're going to give him a bit of a break. All right, so a very uneventful first half, not a single highlight. 
All right, first highlight of the game. Going to be a throw in. We deal with the initial ball well. Second shot. Oh, wow. That was a rocket. Wow. Just that was bad defense by us. He's completely unmarked here. Nobody picks him up. We have three people going for the ball there. Late marking him. Yeah, he just had a wide open shot at goal there. And that is just a rocket. Clark has no chance to deal with that. So we're going to try to chase this goal here. So I think what I'm going to end up doing is I am going to bring in Latif for Togwell. And we're actually going to go to sort of like almost like a four attacker formation here. Latif was in there. We are going to win a free kick here. This could be a dangerous position for us. Ball in from close, gets cleared. Latif picks it up, back to Odefin. Knocks it ahead, looking for Henderson, but Henderson is well offside there. Henderson picks it up. McAvoy was making a run, but Henderson didn't quite see him. Knocks it across to Latif. Latif to Matthews. Oh, Henderson was in there. We could have gotten him the ball. Matthews with the rocket. And Matthews once again. These long distance strikes from Matthews are absolutely ridiculous. Not expecting this sort of offensive production from Matthews at all. Let's take a look at this. Oh, that is beautiful. I thought it might have taken a little bit of a deflection there, but it looked like it just sort of glitched through Henderson's arm there. I think that was clear in on goal. So we do tie the game here one to one. Goku now finds Matthews, trying to find Mechafoy, but not quite on the same page there. Passes behind him. Ball forward. Can we deal with this? Clark does well, does well. That was an easy save for Clark there. Free kick now. Ball going forward. Oh. That was a beautiful set piece by them. We were just outplayed on that set piece. They get this one-on-one -on -one battle right here. Number seven, I believe that's Goku. Just gets beat on the header. He doesn't even actually jump for the header. It's disappointing. That was a great set piece by them. Now we got to be careful not to get hit on the counter. They are breaking here. Ah, oh, that's going to do it. That's the game. That is disappointing. We were supposed to be the ones hitting them on the counter, not the other way around. Now that's a good touch to cut it inside. Cutting it inside like that, Clark has no no clue which direction he's going to go. That was a great run by uh, their attacker there. So we do drop this game 3-1. to one. I'm Pretty disappointed. We knew this was going to be a tough game, but I was hoping we were going to make it closer. 3-1 to one is pretty disappointing on our end. Today we are going up against Macclesfield Town. They are currently in second place, just a point ahead of us. A pre-match analysis says that we will finish in a draw, uh, but we are the underdogs and this is sort of the same setup that we had last match and we all saw how that ended for us. So today we are going to go with Latif up top, McAvoy and Constable out on the wings, Taylor Matthews close in the midfield, uh, woo -ah, Cresswell, Goku and Odefin in the back line, and Clark as always is in goal. Let's see if we could actually get some highlights this time around. Last game we had zero highlights throughout the entire first half. So far this is looking like it might go the same way. So much like last game, another highlight-less first half that ends in a nil-nil draw going into halftime. So, well, so much for this being an interesting game. We finished this game with zero, that's right, zero highlights. A nil-nil draw. Uh, this is, might be one of the most boring games I have ever seen in Football Manager. Well, after being away for two straight games, we are finally back at home and we can only hope that that would mean good things for us because we have struggled on that road trip. Uh, it looks like a mirror match as far as the tactics go. We're going to go with Henderson up top, McAvoy and Constable out wide, Taylor Matthews close in the midfield, uh, Wuwa, Cresswell, Johnson, and Odefin in the back line, and Clark is in goal. So being that we are at home, we are going to try to go on the attack. We want to establish our will. 
onto this game and do it early. So hopefully we could fashion a few chances. Maybe, just maybe, we might actually get a first half highlight. Well, ask and you shall receive. We get the highlight. Is it gonna be for us though, is the question. Matthews, the tailor, trying to find Henderson, just rockets it, rockets it off a defender. Henderson finds McAvoy in space, cross Constable, far post. Oh, cannot get the header on target. That was good movement though. Good movement. Another highlight here. Odafin with a throw in. Looking for Awuwa. Awuwa, is that his first goal? It is. Our left back netting his first goal for the club. A rarity there. Looking like an attacker with that strike. That was pretty nice. Matthews to Odafin. It was a good ball in. Oh, a missed header by the defender. And Awuwa, he does get lucky. He gets the deflection off of the heel of the defender there, knocking it in, but we will take it. Free kick here. We do well to clear it. No, we don't do well to clear it. We give up the penalty. Johnson, oh man, our veteran. What is he doing giving up a penalty in that spot? We need Clark to come up big here. We finally got a lead. We can't blow it. Uh, Clark guessed right, but that was a good penalty. It was hard. It was low. Clark just didn't have a chance there. Yeah, Clark guesses right. His jump is a little late there. It looks like he was jumping like in slow motion. But it didn't really matter. That was a good penalty by them. Oh no, Close is going to get a red card here. No, that's going to be a second yellow. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, this, this game started off so well. It's all going to hell now. Oh, no. I mean, I think we could keep this shape and still be okay. I think we'll be fine. Oh, they're going to look to take advantage of this right away. Johnson with a great tackle there. Oh, it was great until he knocked it straight into the path of that attacker. But Clark does well to save it there. Nervy moment right after the red card. And now they're starting to put the pressure on us. Oh no, it's another! It's another penalty! Oh no, no, no! Second penalty in the first half! What are we doing, guys? Taylor is killing me! Clark guess is right again, but... Taylor is killing me! In his last, like, three or four matches, I forget what it is, he got a sixth minute red card and in the very, in like the, he given him a start and he got a sixth minute red card. I tweeted about it. And then we put him in today and he gives up a penalty. Oh, Taylor is killing me. The Matthews out wide to McAvoy ahead looking for Henderson. What can he do here? He has help in the middle. Ops to go back to Awuwa. Looking for Henderson again. Tries to get a shot off there. Not not the greatest choice there. Odafin to McAvoy. Looking for Constable. Constable with a shot. And we tie it up. 2-2. Two to two. That was a fantastic ball by McAvoy there. I want to see that again. That just looked like a great ball. Initially, great ball by Odafin. Straight to the feet. Oh, and that is a beautiful. I'm not sure if that... I couldn't tell if that glanced off the back of their defender there. But either way, fantastic ball movement from us, going from side to side in a great finish by Constable. Oh, this could even it up. Is that going to be a second yellow card? Show it to him. Do it. Yes! It's all even. Ten men apiece in the final, final 17 or so minutes here. All right, Taylor winning the ball there. Bit of an aggressive challenge. Ahead to McAvoy. Uh, Latif was making a run, but... Oh, that's going to be another red card. They're going to go down to nine. We don't have much time, but we might be able to capitalize on this. And the question is, should I throw people forward now? I think I kind of have to. Uh, nothing's going to come of it. Well, we tried. We tried. You can't blame us for trying. Nothing's going to come of it, but... We try to capitalize on them going down another man. So three people getting ejected from this game. Man, pretty, pretty chippy out there today.
Up against Wilking, we're going to go with Latif up top, McAvoy and Constable out wide, Taylor Matthews Togwell in the midfield, Muggledon, Dugdale, Goku, and Odafin in the back line, and Clark is in goal. I am hoping that we should be able to win this game. So going for a bit of rotation in the back line, trying to keep some of our veterans fresh. Come on, boys. Let's end this episode with some fireworks. Let's finish it off on a good note. We can do this. I have faith in us. So despite a fairly good first half, uh, it's still nil-nil at halftime. And once again, for the third time in four matches, we have a completely highlightless first half. <laughs> I need some highlights. This is going to end up being one boring episode if we can't score some goals here. Knots it down. Can't quite find anybody with that, though. Taylor with a good tackle there. Finding McAvoy ahead to Latif in space. Latif, oh, he can't find the finish there. That was some great ball movement, though. Dugdale eventually collects it to Odafin. To Constable out wide. Back across to Togwell to Taylor. To Matthew slowly working our way up the field. Looking for Latif in space. He finds it. Oh, Latif, not a good strike there. But that was some great ball movement back to front there as I am struggling to speak once again. Johnny Two Thumbs 17 struggles with the English language. I mean, that pretty much sums up this episode, doesn't it, guys? Just a boring, boring nil-nil draw. We had a couple moments of excitement, but really there was just nothing in this game. All right, so that is going to do it for this episode, guys. Bad news, this was a pretty boring episode. We got uh, three draws and a pretty disappointing loss there. Good news, however, is if we look at the table here, we're still sitting in second place. We're only four points behind four screen rovers. We can easily close that gap. Looking at the schedule, I think I'm going to play these next two games offline, and then we will be back for the next live com with the FA Cup fourth qualifying round. And then after that, we have Lincoln City away, currently in 8th, and Torque United. Not sure if that's how you pronounce that. That should be a winnable game, but then Barrow after that, playing away. Once again, all these hard games against top of the table are away. Hopefully that means on the back end of the season, we should get some of these games at home. That should help us with our playoff push. All right, so like I said, next time out, we'll start with the FA Cup. Then we'll get to uh, Lincoln and Barrow, and that will probably do it for the next episode. So until then, guys, thanks again for checking out the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. You can also follow me along on Twitter. Those links are down below in the description. So until next time, guys, peace.